everyone and welcome back to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's recipe is a Goan egg drop curry recipe which is super easy to make, gets ready really quickly. And uh, this is the first time I'm making it. I found this recipe in my mom's recipe book. As all of y'all who have been following me for many, many years know that I always uh, you know, want to share all her go and recipes with you all because she's left me a beautiful book of so many recipes and there are so many more that I have to share with all of you. So without much further ado, let's start with the recipe and I'll see you at the end of the recipe. So friends, let's see today's lovely Goan egg drop curry. Now here I have half a cup of freshly grated coconut, one medium onion that I've chopped fine, one small tomato chopped fine, one small piece of tamarind, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and two teaspoons of coriander seeds. Two cloves of garlic, one green chilli cut into two and about eight dried red chilies. Three eggs. One teaspoon of coriander leaves for garnishing. Some salt to taste. One fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder. Now first I'm going to add the coconut. The tamarind. See that there are no seeds in the tamarind. The cumin seeds as well as the coriander seeds. The two cloves of garlic and the dried red chilies. Now I'm going to add about four tablespoons of water. And we're going to grind this to a very fine paste. So your paste should look like this. Now I'm going to transfer the paste to a bowl. And we're going to add some water to this mixer jar because we don't want to lose all the lovely flavor of the masala. And we're just going to rinse it and we're going to use this water for our curry. So here we have our masala paste ready and the masala water ready. So now I'm going to heat a pan on a low to medium flame and I'm going to add just one teaspoon of oil. This curry doesn't require a lot of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add the onion and I'm going to let the onion really sizzle and we're going to saute it till it's nice and translucent. Isn't that sizzling noise amazing? Now I'm going to add the green chilli and we're going to fry it well. Now I'm going to add the tomato and we're going to saute the tomato as well. So this is our basic bagar before we add all the other ingredients. Now we're going to cover and cook till the tomatoes nicely soften for about a minute and now you see that the tomatoes are nice and soft so just smash them down with your spoon or your spatula they're nice and soft because we've covered and cooked the bagar so just smash them down gently now I'm going to add the haldi powder or the turmeric powder Mix everything in well. And now we're going to add our ground masala paste. We're going to fry the masala really well. And now we're going to cover and cook this for just a minute. And you will see after a minute that the masala starts to ooze out oil. That's because of the coconut. That's why we don't need to add a lot of oil for this curry. 
because the coconut itself oozes out oil when you fry it really well. Now we're going to add the masala water. Give everything a good mix. Now I'm also going to add one additional cup of water. This curry is not a very runny curry. It is more of a thick curry. You'll see why. So now we're going to again cover and cook this on a low to medium heat for another two minutes because we want everything to come together really well. Now we're just going to add some salt to taste. So I think I added about two, uh, actually just one teaspoon because this is a half teaspoon. So around one teaspoon of salt, but you can add it according to your taste. Mix the salt in well. And while that is cooking, we're going to break each egg in a bowl. We're doing this because we want to see that the egg is okay. There's nothing wrong with the egg. So don't directly put it into the curry. Take it into a bowl first. And then just lower the flame of the curry and just add the egg very gently like this. This is an easier way because otherwise if you try to break it along with the shell, then your shell might get in. And plus you can see that the eggs are not gone bad, that they're fresh and nice. And now you're just going to cover and cook them till the eggs get nice and cooked. So here you can see that you can still see the yolk, the yellow of the yolk. That means it's not done yet. So cover again and cook. And now if you see, you'll see everything has turned white. That is a nice white layer has, cooked, has formed over the yolks, like a poached egg. Now just garnish it with, so with some coriander and we are all ready to serve. So what you, like to, what you have to do when you're serving is pick up each egg like this. And then also get some of the gravy. Or the curry. Ah, like I said, it was it's a thick curry because you're going to put the eggs on top. If it was runny, then you know the eggs wouldn't be poached like this so well. So our Goan egg drop curry is ready. I can't wait to dig in. So you can see how the yolk is still runny. So I'm just going to have this with some lovely rice. I just want to taste it because it's my first time making it. So get all that lovely thick curry over your rice. And my rice is really hot. And you can see that it looks so delicious. And how to enjoy, how, what a better way to enjoy a Goan curry with your own, you know, eating with your hands. That's the best way to do it. And it's just yummy, guys. Wasn't that a real easy recipe? I hope you give this recipe a try. It's super easy to make. So just a few things to keep in mind. And the only thing is just keep all your ingredients ready. That way you can work faster and, you know, the recipe gets ready also very too quickly. And also this recipe is like a poached, you know, poached eggs in curry. So like I showed you when I was eating my lunch, you know, when you cut the egg, you can actually see the yolk oozing out. And that's the beauty of this lovely recipe. So I'll see you soon in my next video. Don't forget to share, subscribe, click the notification bell and also the thumbs up icon if you like this video. I'll catch you soon guys. Thank you again and I'll see you soon.